and welcome back. Uh, let's continue where we left off. So, uh, the first thing we gonna need to do is set up another sub-level to separate the sequence and our custom stuff away from the gameplay level. So, if we want to record, we can use the gameplay level. If we want to just render, we can, we're can. we gonna use a separate level uh, that will avoid crashes, gameplay logic, and all of that. So I'm gonna start by just going to my tutorial folder that I started before, create, right click and create a new level, call it as I'm already calling it Narva Tutorial, so I'm just gonna call it Narva Tut and uh, Sequence Stuff, why not? And then uh, under here, uh, you might have levels, if you don't, it's under Window Levels. So with the previous uh, gameplay layer, loaded, the one we recorded on, uh, I will add our new just created level, just drag it and drop it right there, and I will move everything that we've done custom so far to that level. It's going to separate it, uh, going to be easier to work. So how to do that is I double click on here, so I make sure it's blue, it's very important, it needs to be blue. And then I just select everything from my sequence that I already had, and everything gets selected in the top right corner, world outliner, I'll just right click, level, and move selection to current level. That means move everything, uh, do you want to say, yeah sure, uh, move everything that is selected to the blue level. After all of that is done, uh, we can check uh, which, uh, which file, let's call it, uh, is in what level. So if you right click on type, right here, you can select show by level, and then you can see that uh, all the things I just transferred are in my sequence level, apart from the main uh, sequencer file, the main level sequence in general. So I'm gonna move that as well. So level, move the current level. So at the moment everything is in the separated level, and it's gonna be very easy for us to proceed from this point out. So the next step, what I'm gonna do is create a separate level. I'm gonna call it the rendering level. That means that level will not have any uh, gameplay logic or anything running in it. It's just gonna contain art assets, so crashes should not happen. So I'm just gonna call this Narva Tutorial tut, uh, underscore render. So I just remember. After I do that, I will load it up, double click it, save the previous things wait for it to load and there we go we have a completely brand new level with nothing in it so what we want to do right now is to bring in uh, the previous things the things from the previous level so I know that I was using Narva and I was uh, using the geo map which is no lights no nothing just geometry and uh, landscape and everything. So I'm just gonna drag this and add it to my newly created level. It might lag a little bit when you drag it, it's normal. Hopefully you preloaded it. And we have that. Then on top of that I do want to add a light layer. So at the moment I'm gonna just uh, select uh, midday clouds. Drag that one in as well. So now we have both. And the last step for setup, well actually no, not last, lighting layer, you should uh, right click and make it to lighting scenario. Lighting scenario, change lighting scenario. The little sun pops up here, so you're kind of indicating the engine that this is a lighting layer. Anyways, so the last thing is to go to our tutorial, the folder, and we had the sequence stuff the newly created level that contains all our sequencer stuff. So I'm going to add that as well. So at the moment, this sequencer stuff is going to be shared between both. And since it is shared, uh, now I can just quickly check in the world outliner and I should have absolutely everything uh, that was previous in our previous uh, level. Wow, I don't make sense today. It doesn't matter. So, uh, the tutorial master, the master sequence that we started with, uh, we can just open that and grab the camera and you can see that 
everything we did on the previous level is still here, just the light has changed because I loaded on a different lighting layer. Now we can move on to uh, another step, which will be just positioning a couple of cameras, uh, setting up the render settings. Since I'm improvising these tutorials, I kind of realized in the middle of the tutorial that I'm not going to waste your time and uh, go into detail of animating the camera uh, at this point. So we're just going to try to render whatever we have at this point and uh, the keyframe for the event of death and everything should be there. We don't need any fancy movement or anything as long as we can achieve some sort of uh, video file that's good enough. So let's proceed there. You need to make sure that if you right click here, you need to make sure that your exact camera is selected in the camera cuts. And that is kind of it. We just go to render right here. We, I will use a JPEG sequence because I do not uh, use audio when I'm rendering. Set the resolution to whatever I want, 4K, 2K, 2K for now is fine. Uh, AT quality, figure out the path. This is a random path from a thing that uh, I did before. And uh, what else do we need to check from here? We need to make sure that game mode override is set to just game mode. Make sure it's not uh, BP game mode, make sure it is just game mode. After that, uh, we need to check the pre-warm frames. So I've already set those a little bit. Uh, I, I set my warm up uh, frame count to 200. Usually I would do delay before warm up a couple of seconds, uh, but for this example, I won't do it. And when everything here is set, if I press capture movie, uh, it should grab me the movie. Now once everything's loaded, you can see that it's being captured, the guy dies, everything as we kind of predicted. And capturing of the video is done. Uh, you probably missed it because I cut a lot of loading times out of this tutorial, but uh, in the bottom right corner it says uh, the capture was complete. So now I have all the files I need to and I'm gonna splice in the actual rendered video uh, into the YouTube video right now. So to quickly summarize, I was actually expecting that I will make a way longer uh, part two, explain more stuff, but then I kind of changed my mind and I went into, let's just push this information out as fast as I can for you guys to complete at least something without crashing and stuff. I really hope this is useful and I hope you enjoy it. I will continue as soon as I can.